Hi, I'm Jason Webster, Bex Hybrids, Practical Farm Research Innovation Lead. Today we are in Marion, Iowa, and with me today is Joe Mythaller. And Joe has signed up for a Bex Hybrids 300 bushel corn challenge. Joe, thanks for being with us here today. Really appreciate and, and really respect what you're doing in regard to trying to grow high yielding corn. So thanks for participating in the 300 bushel challenge. Thanks for being, letting me be here. Uh, I'm Joe Mythaller, and I farm with my son. Uh, we have a grain and livestock, we feed cattle, small operation. We have a lot of manure on our ground, and so we thought this would be a good place to do the, the, the research. Also with us today is Troy Smith. Uh, Troy is a seed advisor for Bex Hybrids in the, in, the, in the local area. And Troy, again, thanks for, for being here with us today, being a part of this 300 bushel challenge. Your role, uh, tell us a little bit about your role with Joe and how you're working with him. And, yeah, well, I'm glad to be here, and uh, like uh, Jason said, my name is Troy Smith. I'm a seed advisor here in Eastern Iowa, and as my first year with Bex, got one year under the belt. So, um, basically, Joe and I met about a year ago, um, and we were talking about the concept of the practical farm research. I'm here this year to support Joe and uh, basically help him through the process of, of reaching the 300 bushel and the mm -hmm. journey to 300. Tell us and the 300 bushel challenge that you have here as far as the agronomic practices that, that you've done thus far on this challenge, how are they different from what you're doing in your normal farming operation? Just a few things that you've done different. Well, this year we started, we, we tilled the ground. It was bean ground last year, and, and we tilled it with, with uh, vertical tillage. Mm -hmm. And that was the first we've used that this year. And then we're probably going a little higher populations and uh, so, so far that's about all we have done different is a different population and vertical tillage. Okay, so tell me about the process of choosing uh, seeding rate. You, you talked about using different populations. Um, have you worked with your, your local seed advisor to establish seeding rates for each particular hybrid? How did, how did all that take place? Yes, we worked with our local seed advisor, Troy, and, and uh, other people from Bex to come up with the, what hybrids and what uh, what populations they okay. wanted to use. And so tell us a little bit about the, high, the highest population used in this study and then all the way down to the lowest population. Our highest population is at, at 39.5 mm -hmm. and down to the lowest is at 34,000. So we're in a situation, 300 bushel challenge, we've got high fertility and planting date on this particular farm, what, what was the planting date? We, we planted it on April 17th. April 17th. So as I, I look at this corn, the corn looks beautiful, needs a little bit of heat to green up a little bit, but boy, we're off to a great start. W what's your general feelings on where you're at right now, today, looking at this 300 bushel challenge? It was planted early, it, it, is, it is off to a good start. It's been challenged with, uh, with plenty of water. We've been a little wet and, and cold, mostly. Mm -hmm. uh, wouldn't the water wouldn't been an issue if it had been nice and warm, but it yeah. you could see it between the tile lines for several days that it was mm -hmm. it was a little wet. Okay, as Joe mentioned, uh, you know we're early on here um, with with the uh, the project here, but um, you know we're we're pretty far behind on growing degrees. I think we're at uh, about 289 right now mm -hmm. versus I think last year we're around 440 at this mm -hmm. time. So we're about 200 heat units away from uh, what we were last year. So. We've experienced, uh, you know, some struggles here early on, as Joe mentioned, with rain number one. But our biggest issue we've had was uh, the cold temps we've had, and, and more particularly at night, and those cold temperatures we've had at night. So, what's some of the next steps here over the next few weeks? What are you going to be doing in this 300 bushel challenge? What are some of the activities? What are some of the potential treatments you're looking at? We're going to apply a herbicide, and then we're going to uh, side dress nitrogen, mm -hmm. and then we will uh, come in with a fungicide probably headline and uh, mm -hmm. at, at uh, V5 okay. uh, to start with. And then later on we will do another uh, fungicide application and they will do wide drops of nitrogen. Make sure to check back in next month as we follow Joe's personal journey to 300 bushel corn. Next month we'll be following Joe's uh, plan. We'll see if anything has changed as far as his 300 bushel plan. We'll look at the weather that has happened and occurred on this particular farm and we'll look at specific products and applications that Joe plans to use on this farm in order to reach that 300 bushel yield goal. In the meantime, this has been Jason Webster following this farmer's personal journey to 300 bushel farm.